सो हाय एवरीवन माय न्यू बुक लैंच इन योर पॉकेट बिगनर्स गाइड टू बिल्डिंग जेन ए एप्लीकेशन यूजिंग एल एम इज आउट नाउ ऑन एमेजॉन द बुक इज ऑलरेडी बेस्ट सेलर एज यू कैन सी इट इज ट्रेंडिंग ऑन हैश थ्री ऑन एमेजॉन बेस्ट सेलर्स सो गो ग्रैब योर कॉपीज एंड फाइंड द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो सो हाई एवरी वन टूडे विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज द रैक फ्रेमवर्क दैट इज यूज टू कनेक्ट एक्सटर्नल फाइल्स लाइक पी डी एफ यूट्यूब वीडियोज टेक्सट फाइल्स टू एल एल एम्स फॉर क्वेश्चन आंसरिंग पर्पसेज दिस पर्टिकुलर फ्रेमवर्क इज अ लॉट हाइब्ड टूडे एंड इट हैज ग्रेट रियल वर्ल्ड एप्लीकेशन एंड पीपल ऑल्सो सी इट एज एन अल्टरनेटिव फॉर फाइन ट्यूनिंग बिकॉज फाइन ट्यूनिंग कंज्यूम्स अ लॉट ऑफ रिसोर्स एंड रैक डजेंट डू एनी थिंग सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड this we will be using this particular diagram and this example to understand how rag works so assume that i have a pdf file with me i am assuming to my book lunch in your pocket as already introduced in the first few seconds now the major we will start off with the major segments of rag so the first and uh, segment is document loader followed by text preprocessing so document loader is nothing but it takes a raw file like pdf and extracts the data out of it or the text out of it uh now if even if it is a youtube uh video or it is a text file the document the role of document loader is to extract the text out of whatever format that has been fed in now once the document loader is able to get the text the next step is text preprocessing in text preprocessing uh we would be going through the nlp text preprocessing steps like segmentation cleaning of the text whatever steps you wish to do and then eventually in the next step we have got cleaned text from the file that we have fed now the next step using some embedding function now an embedding function as you know can be bert can be word to it to convert these text into embedding functions uh, into embeddings and then store these into vector db now vector db is similar to postgres if i if you have worked with rdbms or if you have worked with cassandra there we are storing the actual information but in case of vector db instead of storing the actual information we are storing that also we will be storing the embeddings of the text as well so basically vector db specializes in similarity searches and quite good to you so in my previous videos i have already explained how vector db works and shown a few demonstrations also you can check that out so in the first half of rag what we are doing we are taking a raw file and then following it through a number of steps and then eventually the aim is to store the embeddings of the text that has been fetched from the actual file into the vector db the first half is done now now comes the llm part so what we will do the last segment of the rag framework that is retriever what we are doing we are providing a prompt to this retriever who is the author of this book assume that this is the question that i am asking the llm now the last segment of uh, rag framework that is retriever comprises of multiple things here you can see that we are calling it a retrieval qa chain in a, basically this is a chain that is present in lang chain that in that in that has retriever within it so what it does you are taking a prompt using the llm we are rephrasing the prompt uh, making it more suitable for the vector db and then hitting the vector db so uh, once we are feeding in this particular question it goes into the vector db after rephrasing and then generates a similar text it searches for the similar text ki where the author, word for example if i am feeding this whole book it might be searching for the word author author of this book and eventually it will getting to you some answer now this answer is again passed with the llm and rephrasing the output because again the output that is coming out of vector db are the straight lines that are present in the text file now you want to have some rephrasing to present it to the user right uh, from vector db we will be getting exactly the same lines as present in the pdf because it is doing a similarity search right it is doing nothing else and that rephrasing part to make it more presentable to the user is done by the llm now the output is getting rephrased and then we get an output we will go to the author this book so in this way rag works it is uh, no black box and it's very easy to understand it is basically an interaction between the llm and the vector db if you look at closely it's like the vector db uh, the llm is a, is able to talk to the db that we have got and eventually whatever answer it gets in the return it is rephrasing it and presenting back to you that's it it's no black box it's very easy to understand and codes for uh, different types of rag framework different problems that we can solve using rag is present in the book as already mentioned in the starting thank you